from the bottom of the sea to the top of Pico Bonito, today's Honduras is tomorrow's destination for fun in the sun. I think the best thing about Roatan is the people. I mean, from the employees to the guests, every person that we've come in contact with has just been amazing. And the island itself is so beautiful. We've been here a week and uh, we're already planning our next trip back. Whether you like the ocean or the mountains, today's Honduras has something for everyone. I can't wait to go on the hiking trail this afternoon and see what we can see. The Honduran island of Roatan is one of the best spots for diving or snorkeling on the globe. I was showing you the grouper down there. It was a feeding station. Yeah. He was covered with little tiny gobies. Its coral reef is second in size only to Australia's Great Barrier Reef, and it's only two hours from the continental U.S. Diving in Roatan and going out to these amazing coral reefs is like picking out your favorite National Geographic centerfold and diving right into that. That's a Roatan experience. Roatan and the other Bay Islands are poised for responsible development, and the safety of tourists is a major priority. We do our endeavor best to protect our tourists and to seek out those that may go against it. So uh, we welcome you. Although tourism is already Honduras' second largest industry, the potential for growth is great, with a young, plentiful workforce and highly competitive labor rates. Plus, there are special incentive programs to encourage investment in the tourism sector across Honduras. And there's even one just for the Bay Islands. Solitour tour is a law that provides you tax exemptions for investing in tourism and development in the Bay Islands of Honduras. In addition, many people in today's Honduras speak English as a second language. May I help you, sir? The cruise terminals on Roatan are undergoing a major expansion, and there are now non-stop flights to Roatan from several major U.S. cities. New luxury resorts are already popping up, like Infinity Bay, a condo resort where every unit has a full kitchen and a washer and dryer. Plus, the whole resort is environmentally friendly. We've gone with assisted solar hot water heaters, and we've also had the state-of-the-art septic system because we really want to protect this beautiful reef so all our grandchildren can enjoy it as well. In addition to well-established dive destinations, the folks behind the Nikki Beach resorts in South Beach and Turks and Caicos are building a jet-set retreat on a secluded section of Roatan, complete with a helipad and even an animal sanctuary for endangered creatures. His name's Balam. Todd Murray, who's building the Nikki Beach Resort, says it's important to respect the local landscape and the local culture. We're in another country. We have to conform to their laws. We're not in the state, so you've got to understand that we're in somebody else's country. Ecotourism is also popular in Honduras, where you can find a five-star resort nestled inside a rainforest. Honduras is very eager to promote business, uh, foreign investment, tourism, and uh, they will really go out of their way to make 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 a home for you here. Honduras is also a destination with a rich history of Mayan ruins in Copan. Copan was thought to be the cultural center of the Mayan world, and it's sometimes referred to as the Paris of the Mayans. The growth in travel and tourism isn't limited to the snorkel and backpack set. Adventurous visitors can also find unique city properties. It's a five-star small luxury boutique hotel with 23 suites. With the rapid growth in light manufacturing and agribusiness in Honduras, there's room for additional upscale lodging. We can stand the competition, so come on. Um, I think uh, the more the merrier. Uh, there's a lot of room for development here, and um, I, th I think it's a place that's uh, up and coming. It's, been, it's getting discovered. In Tegucigalpa, known by the locals as Tegus, there's always something to do at night, from fine dining. We've got lots of... Uh, foreign clientele. I think everybody comes and feels comfortable. You have a little bit of Mediterranean, a little bit of fusion, a little bit of local beef. You have a nice environment. Everybody knows each other. They make friends. They make good contacts. To an elegant cigar bar where you can sample the local smokes and relax with friends. There are also several nightclubs in Tegus. This is a nightlife in Honduras. It's a good nightlife and we're waiting for you to come and enjoy with us. So if you're thinking about investing in a hot spot of tomorrow, remember there's nothing cooler under the Caribbean sun than today's Honduras, a place of natural beauty and infinite possibilities. I'm Grant Winter reporting.